Hey guys. What's up? So today I'm going to show all you people who may be starting out with P5 or I don't know, maybe you're maybe you're a pro and you just need some I, I don't know. I don't know your life. Just I'm going to show you a function that uh, is very simple and very, uh, very useful for P5 animations. So, uh, let's get right into it. It's going to, this function is going to create a regular polygon at any point in the canvas. Um, polygon, of course, a regular polygon, of course, is just a shape with all the same side lengths. Uh, can have any number of sides, just as long as all the side lengths are the same. So let's uh, let's get into it. We'll call the function. I don't know, regular polygon. Sound good? Uh, so what are we gonna need? We're going to need a x coordinate and a y coordinate for the center. Uh, we're going to need a number of sides. We'll call this n. Um, and so if we, so if we think about how we're going to do this, um, we need, so a shape is just a number, just points, uh, with lines connecting the points. So we need n points and we need them to be evenly spaced to make our shape our regular polygon. So what we're going to need to do, uh, or at least the best method I can think of is to, uh, go along a circle and find an evenly spaced point. So there's 360 degrees. There's two pi radians in a circle. So we'll just divide that over N to get the, and then we'll take the, we'll use some trigonometry to figure out where these points lie in this circle. So, uh, so if we're going to use a circle, we're going to need a radius. Uh, and with that, I think we have enough to get started. So let's dive right in. So when you are making a shape in P5, uh, you need to use the begin shape function. Uh, when you begin a shape, you just declare a number of vertices that are going to lie in this shape. So as I've said before, we're going to need n vertices. For each vertex, we're going to need an X and a Y coordinate. So for the X coordinate, we're going to use our, we're going to start, we're going to be basing these locations off of our center X coordinate. Uh, so starting at our X, we're going to go out. Um, so we're going to go out cosine of uh, da, da, da. so each of our points so this is where the 2 pi or uh, as I like to call it tau uh, radians comes in so So we're gonna so we're gonna divide up our shape into two tau over or into two tau over n chunks. We're gonna divide up our circle, and each point is gonna be at i times that along the circle. So cosine of i times tau over n, and since this gives us the unit circle. Cosine just gives us the unit length between 0 and 1. We need to stretch that out by radius. 
And likewise, uh, y plus, and then we're going to use the sine function to get the vertical length or vertical distance, you know, trick stuff. We're going to need to know how far up to go. We're going to use i times tau, sine of i times tau over 2 again, or over n again times the radius and that should give us the vertices that we want so then we're going to just end this shape and so we want to close off this shape meaning we want to draw lines between each of these vertices so we're going to pass in close to end shape and that should give us what we want. So got a black background, let's draw a white shape on it. Uh, let's not fill it in. And let's draw a regular polygon. Uh, let's draw it in the middle. Uh, we'll draw a pentagon, five sides, and we'll make it 100 pixel radius just to see how it turns out. And there we go. We've got a beautiful shape. We can make it a little bit bigger if we want. Nice. So there we go. We've got our shape. Um, it's a little bit lopsided. So we want to be able to turn it. Um, so let's do this. So in order to turn our shape, we're just going to have to rotate all of our vertices around the center by the same amount. So we'll just pass in a new uh, parameter called rotation. And when we get our cosine and sine values, we'll just add this rotation amount to, uh, to, our, uh, to our coordinates. To our angles. That's what I meant. Angles. Um, so let's try that out now. Let's rotate it by pi over 2. And there we go. There we go. Let's, uh, let's add sliders just because that's fun. Let uh, radius slider and uh, rotation slider radius slider equals slider I forget how to do this hold on Oh no, ten and two between ten and two hundred pixels and increment by one and rotation slider is going to course be between 0 and tau. We'll increment that by 1, 2. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so radius. So we're going to set that. Radius slider dot 
value or dot val. I think it might be dot val. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Well, there you have it, a simple yet powerful tool for your P5 toolbox. Hope you had fun. I will see you next time.